This is Anfisa from Retina Coach and the topic today will be instruments for membrane peel. Probably the most common instrument used for membrane peel are forceps. Different designs and materials of forceps are available. Depending on the design of the tip and grasping surface, forceps can be divided to end gripping, asymmetric end gripping, serrated gripping, angle gripping and others. Also, forceps can be diamond coated and non coated. The first case that you are watching now is a young patient with retinal detachment. The surgeon decided to peel the interlimited membrane to prevent epiretinal membrane formation. Pinch and peel technique using 25 gauge and gripping ILM forceps was performed in this case. The surgeon touched the membrane, pinched it to tear it and then picked the membrane edge up and started the circumferential peeling. The direction of the forces during the peeling is parallel to the retina and close to it. This prevents early amputation of the flap. The surgeon regrasps peripherally to avoid the movement that would threaten the fovea. During the grasping of the membrane, especially at the beginning of the peeling, when no elevated flap still exists, it's important to make sure that no underlying retinal tissue was grasped together with the membrane to prevent pulling the retina up and the atogenic retinal breaks. The second case is a patient with adherent epiretinal membrane that was stained with triamcinolon. Forceps were used in conjunction with Thanos scraper to perform the peeling. Tano, or as it also called diamond dusted membrane scraper, a very popular instrument used to initiate the peeling in patients with very adherent membranes or to elevate the membrane edge. This instrument does not allow total peeling of the membrane, therefore must be used in conjunction with the forceps. In Tano scraper, diamond particles fixed with non-toxic silicone adhesive to the flexible silicone that sometimes these particles can shed and deposit on the retinal surface. That's why after the peeling, prior to closure of the eye, retina should be evaluated well for the presence of such diamond particles and all of them should be aspirated. On this video, you can see that the surgeon already peeled the epiretinal membrane around the fovea and now he uses Tano scraper to elevate the edge of the membrane in the peripheral part of the macula. And when the elevated edge will be created, he will switch back to forceps to remove the membrane. Further, in the same manner, the edge of the non-stained interlimited membrane is created and the membrane is spilled using the forceps. Other instrument that can be used to create an initial flap is a flex loop. This retractable metallic loop has small tines which allows membrane engagement. Instruments like retinal pick and MVR blade can be used to cut the membrane and generate a gentle and thin edge. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on all our latest videos and also visit our retinacoach.net website to get involved in the project and to share your surgical techniques and cases with others. Thank you for attention.